Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm in Baker Park with Charlie, the German Shepherd, and we're nearing the end of her final week here. So she goes home on Monday, today's Thursday. So we're doing off-property outings every day. This park is full of people and dogs that we're about to be running into. And remember, she came to us a compulsive barker. So we're just working on not only not barking, but also walking in heel, which is nicely at my side. I dropped my leash, so we're doing an off-leash heel. And then I'm gonna try and work on some other obedience while we're out here. If I stop, she should sit her down right next to me. Good girl. Charlie, down. Good girl. As if you saw me when I said her name, her head tilted, so she processed, oh, I guess I need to listen. And then I gave her the command, which was down, and she laid down. No tap on the e-collar there because she complied within a reasonable amount of time. And then now that she's in this down stay, I should be able to walk away. I should be able to go check out something over here. There's people in the back behind her. Um, nothing releases her from this command unless she gets released or I give her another command. All right, so I can walk all around her, add some distance. And then I, if I want to, I'm gonna recall her using the tone and she should come and sit somewhere in front of my feet. Good girl, that was a tone only. Good girl, and she comes and sits right in front of my feet. Very good girl. Now we're gonna go back into a heel. So I'm gonna say heel, I'm gonna press the tone button and I'm gonna start walking. Charlie, she looks up, heel, press the tone, start walking. And remember, we're out in a public park, okay? Off leash healing. We're gonna move off to the side because there's a person coming by and I think there's a dog behind us. I'm gonna put her in a down. Down. Good girl. And we're gonna let these people and dogs walk by. Good girl. Very nice. Remember, she used to bark at people. We love using the downstay, especially in the park. You guys could come here, bring your dog, bring a book, bring a blanket, and just relax with your dog. I'm allowing her to look around. It's good for her to process. Um, but if I really wanted her to be, I could put her in a double down. It's really good for her to get out and just watch people instead of bark at them because that actually allows her to process information. So here comes a runner and dogs with high drive, shepherds, dobermans, malinois. They, a lot of them will have an instinct to go like nip at the runner. I've heard about this a lot that dogs nip at runners when they run by because it triggers something in their brain, that prey. So the fact that she can just watch a runner go by good girl you know give her a pet for that I want her to know she's doing the right thing very good girl and it reinforces the calmness okay this is like one of our favorite spots to come watch because of this walking path is so busy and there's the dog you see her sniffing? She's sniffing that dog from 30 feet away. Completely appropriate. Dogs don't need to meet each other to sniff each other. Very nice. And another runner. How did we get so lucky today? That's great for her to watch this movement by her and just simply take it all in. Good girl. Now watch this. If I want to get her into another relaxed position, Charlie, down. She puts her chin down. Thumbs up. Good girl. Praise. Very nice. Very nice. So proud of you. We're going to try an off leash heel across that field. We're going to do it as a join up. So, by a join up, means I'm going to walk a couple steps away from her. I'm going to tap the tone. And instead of having her sit 
somewhere in front of me, I'm going to turn and say heel. Come. Good girl. Heel. And she locks in. Beautiful.